It's 1975. The Vietnam War is over, but the Cold War still rages. The two powers, USA and USSR, are tearing the world apart to expand their influence. That same year, the Portuguese colonial empire has collapsed. After five centuries of domination, Portugal is leaving her African colonies. The last and most coveted, Angola. This crown jewel will soon be an independent country. Independence Day has been booked. It's in the calendar. November the 11th, just a month away. But as usual, it's never that simple. While the Portuguese flee taking as much as they can, a civil war erupts between two Angolan factions. To the winner, a land rich in diamonds and petrol, which is why the two world powers have picked their sides. And just like that, Angola has become the new Cold War chessboard. Russia is backing the socialist MPLA, while the capitalists FNLA and UNITA, they have America watching their backs. Armed to the teeth, they want power at any price. Most often, the price of their brother's blood. Many are convinced the country will turn into a hell. Those who could were fleeing Angola. Me, I was bent on going there. Nobody's coming, okay? I have information, right? It's a cosmic mess, and they have a word for that here. It's a good word, a synthesis word, an everything word. Water does not work. Water, I don't know. Confusão, yeah. But if the FNLA and you need to really are backed by the Americans, won't that end the war? I don't know. Confusão. Ah, tell me. They're gonna kill us. My name is Richard Kapuscinski. I work for the Polish press agency, their only foreign reporter covering 50 countries around the world. A new Africa is being born in Angola. There is no way I was not going to be here. And this is Luanda, city of paranoia, city of chaos. My favorite. Welcome to my cage. Mr. Kapuczynski. Nelson, hello. And uh, no. what is it this time? I want to go south. <laughs> are you crazy? You are not taking a step out Come of this on. city. The southern front, your only outpost down there, a Pereira de Asa. That place is the key. It's out of the really close, The last thing the MPLA needs an American is back. a dead reporter. Come on. Who's your commander in the south? Just a name. Farushko. Good. Ah, Farusco. Oh, no, no, no. It's 1,500 kilometers away. 
Pereira. Ace. No! Mm. How many different yes. ways can I tell you no? There's my story. Nay. Nay. Niet. Niet. Yes, niet. Why are you smiling, man? I will get my permit. You think so, huh? And I'll be back tomorrow. Great. Bring your smile. Oh, I will. My wife says it's the first thing she noticed about me. <laughs> I'm talking about a free country, Fitkin. A, a free country? You're wrong. November 11th, Independence Day for all... Here we go again, MPLA dailies. Albatross will be placed here. Excuse me, is that with Soviet help or Cuban, Mr. Nelson? Jesus, stop it, freaking. It's boring already. No, it's the not. The only foreign power trying to take hold here is your very no, own CIA. No, 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 Back no, 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 The right Cubans are already here. Space. Admit it, Arthur. It's rumors. Just like the CIA. No, no, no. The CIA is not rumors. rumors. Yes, they are rumors. You know what? No more. This is my country. That is what you don't understand. Eu cresci na injustiça, na falta de liberdade. Não para mim, para os outros. E a minha mãe disse-me ao ouvido, meu filho, nós temos sempre que estar sempre ao lado de quem sofre. E eu coloquei-me incondicionalmente ao lado do, 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 do MPLA. Nós tínhamos um exército popular. Foi o povo que se armou. Eras tu, era eu, era qualquer um. E nesta altura, portanto, em 75, eu estava nesse. Estava nesse combate quando conheci o, o Kapuscinski, o Ricardo. Come on, guys. All you talk about is rumors the whole time. What's really going on? Not Luanda, not Benguela. Here, Pereira de Asa, the Southern Front. This is where the war will be decided. This is where I'm going to go. Good luck. <laughs> the MPLA commander down there is called Farusco. Farusco? I heard of him. Holding the entire Southern Front. One man, the entire front. <laughs> You're chasing ghosts, Kapuscinski. You think Nelson's news is any more real? <laughs> we don't have facts here. Just confusão, huh? Yes. <laughs> and everybody is afraid to say anything in case the CIA... Ah, CIA! And how could you know all this, huh? Oh yeah, Ricardo likes hey. to play spy. I just like to get to the heart of things. Farusco. He's the story. I know him. Fucking bastard. Piece of shit. Wow, it smells like a brewery. Motherfucker. Farusco. Fucking traitor. A traitor? Yeah. He's fucking Portuguese. Just like me. We came together to Angola. Portuguese paratroopers. But he is a deserter. He joined the MPLA. And now, that fucking son of a bitch. He will die for those communist bastards. Yeah, communist bastards. If I see him again, I'll cut his fucking throat from ear to ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Is this your friend? Take him home. Teach him how to drink. I guess you'd call that a reliable source, huh? The only MPLA man in the South protecting Angola is a Portuguese trader? Excellent. Too good to miss. No, 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 no. Nobody's gonna give you a pass. So come with me, Artur. You're Angolan. I don't need the permit if you take me there. You're fucking crazy. Couldn't be more serious, my friend. The South? It's different. You don't know the enemy from a friend down there. They're not even wearing uniforms. It's Russian roulette, Ricardo. Come with me, Artur. You know what? Let's go to the best place in town. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Eu não gostava muito desse ambiente. Sobretudo os seguros, eles não sexos. O apoio mais importante que o MPLA tinha era nos bairros, era nos insectos. Os militantes do MPLA estavam armados até aos dentes, nos bairros. Portanto, nós quando entrávamos ali estávamos, estávamos em casa. 
Estávamos 100% seguros. Com Angola Independente, Angola Independente, é todo o continente agora. África é awakening. Ah, huh? feels good, huh? But you know what? She needs names. Names? Slave traders took millions of people, but can we name a single victim? Africa doesn't need victims. No, no, no. But her entire history has been anonymous. Now she needs a voice. Oh, yeah, what? Like an African Che Guevara? Why not? Yeah, why not? God help us. Come on, Friedkin. When Che Guevara arrived in the Congo, the command structure was in numbers. First in command number one, second in command two, and Che took only number three. Three? Number three? Yes, just the translator. Because that way he stays low, under the net, finds the truth, and puts the black man above the white man. Ah, so the bullet takes the black guy first. Genius. Enough! Enough, enough, enough talk. Now, we dance. Come on, Friedkin. Hands. Ah. Ah. Sabes que quando, quando as pessoas estão a viver no limite e a sua vida já não vale grande coisa, né? é muito mais fácil fazermos amigos, tornarmos-nos amigos. Né? Aquela amizade própria de quem, de quem já não espera nada. Né? Tell me, what draws a man out into the world? Curiosity? Hunger for experience? The man who ceases to be astonished is hollow, possessed of an extinguished heart. If he believes he's seen it all, then something most precious has died within him. A delight in life. The city is dying, disappearing. First, the Portuguese police left, and the country fell into anarchy. Then, the firemen left, then the garbage men. And finally, the colonials, saying goodbye to their African homes with a mixture of despair and anger. In the docks of Luanda, a new wooden city begins to rise, Portuguese lives boxed up in crates. The richer the people, the bigger the crate. Everything has to be squeezed in. All that remains to do is to lock the door and say your final goodbye. All they wanted was to save their lives and their property. They didn't want Angola anymore. It's one hell of a news report, Polish. Did you put all that in your telex? Oh boy, your bosses must love you. Come on, we gotta go. Nelson's called a press conference. <clears throat> huh? Arthur, come on! This guy, he's a fake! He's running after this imaginary Francesco. Farushka. Artur! You know what I've seen? I've seen his reports, Artur. There's nothing there. Absolutely nothing. Now he wants you to drive him to the south? Are you both crazy, for Christ's sake? You get yourself killed! Ah, damn it. Uh, 
Hello? No, really? Backlight. Yeah. Quanto tempo há que não vinha por aqui? Desde 75. Nunca mais voltei. E o que sentes? Um pouco de angústia, talvez. Help! Stop! Stop the car! It could be a trap. FNLA and UNITA are cruel armies. They are cannibals. Artur told me some days ago. I didn't believe him. O que eu vi, o que eu presenciei nesta estrada foi talvez o, a coisa mais infernal que eu vi em dias da minha vida. Vocês estão a imaginar o que é uma estrada juncada de cadáveres durante quilómetros, 40 ou 50 quilómetros. Nós saíamos do carro, íamos a correr ver se alguma criança que tinha os carros estava vivida ou não. Estavam todos mortos. Alguns com o mesmo tiro morreu a mãe e o filho. Perdi para sempre a paz. Eu. Fiquei sem paz para o resto da vida. 
muito aqui nesta estrada. Eu tinha a consciência de que íamos ser massacrados aqui. Isto é quase uma morte anunciada, não é? Camarada. Yeah. yeah. Heads or tails. MPLA. Please don't shoot. Camarada. We are from the press. Report us. What the fuck are you doing here? We have a permit. Bring me some medicine and bandages from the truck. Now! Shove it up your ass, reporter. You. What's your name? Kambale. How old are you? They pay you to fight? They give food. They pay if we win the battle. So do you win any? I never fight a gun. They promised me school after a war. Take the injured and the bodies to my truck. Now! Agora! Agora! Eu era ao mesmo tempo um jornalista, mas um combatente também. Tive que disparar. Isto não era digno de um jornalista, mas eu, eu, eu era um combatente também. Tenho consciência que infringi o, o meu código profissional. Ainda bem que o infringi, não estou arrependido. Espero que não. Fosse quem fosse, mesmo o pior assassino, no... espero que não. All right, come on, Ricardo, get in the car. We have to go. Ricardo, Ricardo, Ricardo. Tomorrow morning, the FNLA is gonna put all of this in the papers. Blaming the MPLA. We have to report it first. Artur, I have to go south. Wow, what are you talking about? That road leads only to hell. Artur. I'll see you in Luanda. I hope so, my friend. I hope so. Okay, come on. Let's go! We have to reach Bengala as soon as possible!
They all want to be photographed. To leave a trace. To remain. I was here. This is how I looked. This is the face I had when I was alive. Nothing here. Luanda that way. Well, I'm going south. Ferrera de Isa. Farusco. Huh? Nobody is going to Farusco. Don't listen to him. He's crazy. He's nobody. Nobody, huh? I'm Carlos. Carlos! Bring daddy here! Yes, ma'am. Ai, que eu não dou abscesso aqui no carro. Olha, não tem esse carro. Alô, amigo! Hello. Hi. Come upstairs. Come upstairs. Pareceu-nos muito estranho. Um repórter polaco solitário porque é um polaco. E ele apertou-me a mão com energia. Ele não ia para a cura de amigo. Ia para a cura de pessoas com a autoridade para o colocar nos pontos fulcarais da guerra. Take me to the south. <laughs> no, no south. I sent five supply trucks two months ago to Farusco. No one came back. We lost comms a month ago. I'm wasting no more men or supplies on Farusco. He's dead already, as far as I know. Look around you. Soldiers barely out of diapers. No ammunition. Maybe Poland will help. You're socialist, right? You help me, and I help you. Weapons. Mortars, machine guns. Tanks. Write that to your readers. I will write. I can get your story out there. But what about one full convoy to Farusko? No! Come on. Listen, not just another defenseless truck, but a proper... Military expedition. And if it will succeed, I will have two heroes in the south. Farusco and Daddy. Hmm? So... You want my best soldier. She drove me here. <laughs> you like Carlotta, huh? Yeah. She saved my life. And then you will write about Daddy, huh? And then I will write. Hmm. Deal. Hariyaman Dioko, tu basi sako. Hariyaman Dioko, tu basi sako. How could you go wrong with her in the frame? She has a smile the world puts on magazine covers. The face of Angola. <laughs> Carlota tinha um carisma tão forte que 
ficou desde o primeiro dia intimamente ligado à garantia da vitória. Uma guerrilheira tão altiva, tão determinada, com seu Kalashnikov, ela tinha o seu projeto de nação e preocupava-se muito com as crianças. Como é que as crianças iriam ser educadas numa escola de um próximo futuro? Quanto mais avançarem, maiores serão os riscos. E ele sorriu e disse, quando começam os tiros, o medo desaparece. Thank you. For what? You made Daddy Cool help Farushko. Do you know him? Everybody knows Farushko. The Portuguese who changed sides. He's everything the MPLA stand for. He took Lubango with very few men. He captured Pereira Dessa. He fired mortars himself, no pace. Held them in his hands, burning from hot barrels. Blisters and swords everywhere. He's a great man. He taught us how to fight. He will see us to victory. It is an honor to fight beside him. When did you join the MPLA? I have always been in the MPLA. <laughs> of course. I love my country. Do you not love yours? Yes, I do. Do you have war in your country? There were some in the past, terrible ones. I remember the beginning of war more than the end. You fought? No, no, I was a child and children didn't fight then. I was seven years old. What's that, Grandfather? Remember this day, Richard. Remember. Huh? Remember. For a long time, I thought this was the world. This is how it looks. What life is like. But it stopped? What? Your war. Ah. Yes. Many years ago, yes. But when you've lived through war, you can never be free of it. Ah, oh, I don't know. So why you come here? I tried many different jobs, but... War was my first understanding of the world. Primeiramente, a visão. Depois... O olor. Vimos os, os cadáveres de soldados grandes. Estavam quase a ponto de explodir, né? tão inchados. Carlota disse isto, pode provocar aqui uma peste. Seria perigoso para a saúde das crianças que estavam ali jogando muito próximo. Kapuscinski ajudou também a regar os cadáveres com gasolina. 
Depois foi Carolota com a sua metralhadora e o comandante Tony, que fizeram os disparos para provocar a chama. Poland is in Europe? Yes, yes, yeah. So you miss your home? Of course, yeah. But when I'm there, I miss Africa more. What about you? Hmm? When the war is over. Hmm? With the MPLA, Angola will be free. And then you'll see. Children will go to school and be healthy. Mm -hmm. And I will be there, working for my country. Oh, yes. And what will you do? I train to be a nurse. Maybe I should become a doctor. You were really good with that boy yesterday. Really, uh, could be a surgeon, maybe. Maybe. But you know, sometimes I faint when I see blood. <laughs> Ricardo, in two months I will be 20. I want my own children. But first we have to win this war. Maybe one day I will read about myself, huh? I hope so. I'm sure. Ricardo. Then they won't forget us. You have my word. Carlota, the enemy waits in the forest, next to Balumbu. Okay, give me a minute. We're aborting. Anda, vamos, what? vamos. We'll resume the mission tomorrow. Carlos, take him back to Bengala. Yes, ma'am. Why? No, Carlotta, stay with us. We'll have dinner tonight, and tomorrow we can go together to Lisbon. Huh? What's going on? Carlotta! Go! Right now! O silêncio que se apoderou de nós quando o carro arrancou. Com o medo de que acontecesse algo, porque era uma frente de combate à noite. Estava com umas nuvens pesadas, escuras. You are not going anywhere, Polish. No escort. There was an attack. Everybody's dead. Carlotta? Like I said, everybody.
estarem na frente do valor. Recorrido as penas de 24 horas, a nota está bom. Capulcinski digo, a nossa insistência deveria ter sido até ao limite. O sentimento de culpa cresceu. Capulcinski melhorou. Devia olhar a vida. E o lado é melhor até ela. E disse a Capulcinski, Carlota muere, vai me perder a guerra. E Capulcinski disse, moralmente, quase. Where are you going, Ricardo? No, please stay. This is not our fault. We're just reporters, Ricardo. We are just reporters. There was nothing we could do. Listen to me, Ricardo. Nunca deixei de ter saudades desta mulher. Carlos. Wake up. Take me to Farusco. Commandante! Ammunition? So it's, uh, it's not that bad, yeah? Look, I got you two cans of gas and several rounds of ammo. I mean, I mean, no ammo, but, but I got flour and, and the reporter. Yeah, he's from Poland. Richard Kapuscinski from I the need ammo. Vehicles. Supplies, soldiers, and you bring me a fucking reporter. What the fuck are you doing here, reporter? You want an interview? 
So, ask me something. Now? Yes, now, before those motherfuckers start shooting again. So, General Ferrusco, you are a hero, a face of the cause. Come on, cause? What cause? Can you load a cause into a pistol? Next question. Next question. How have you held the Southern Front for this long? See these lines? On the floor? They're the nearest you get to the front. Stray over them, and the sniper's bullet is yours. And uh, what about South Africa? They want Luanda. What do you mean? I mean, they have their tanks. Armored cars. They're fucking CIA dollars. And they're on the border. So they're already here. That's just a hundred kilometers. We're the only ones who stand in their way. You know how many of us there are? Fifty. Last count. Write this. We're a detachment condemned to extermination. Hey, come here. You gotta see something. Eighty-one years old. She breaks bread. For over sixty years, she breaks bread. And she refuses to leave. We love that woman. She's not for us, not for them. She's for life. Life and bread. That's enough. More than enough. That's the end of the press conference, my friend. I hope you got what you wanted. Welcome to your grave. Why did you change sides? They shipped us in. Elite Portuguese paratroopers. And they showed us these boys, these 12 year old boys. They were the enemy we were supposed to be fighting with. 12 year old boys. That is not me. But then, look at me now. Look at my soldiers. Boys will die anyway. So here I am again. Kung Fu Sao. I have a son born to me in Lubangu. Big strong boy, they tell me. May his Papa proud. <laughs> I haven't seen him. Probably won't ever. You know Polish? I'm not afraid of death. I don't feel any fear. Joaquim Antônio Lopes Farrusco, sou natural de Portugal. A primeira imagem que tenho é a marcante em la mudança, em la viragem de mim. Me acordo como se for hoje. Seria uma criança pequena com 
roupa muito rota, muito velha, muito suja. Então gritavam, dá-me um escudo, dá-me um pão. E eu fiquei entristecido e disse, olha, aqui estamos iguais como estava lá na minha terra, quer dizer. Aquela criança descalça fazia-me lembrar a minha, a minha adolescência. Eu não vinha a defender a nadie, vinha a oprimir, provavelmente, não? Era um comando, uma força especial. Tinha 24 anos. Não foi uma, uma coisa muito difícil para mim, para inserir-me de uma parte só. Pela parte de los que están más desfavorecidos. Era muy difícil sobrevivir en la frente aquella, en la frente muy ancha. No tenía nada a no ser un puñado de guerrilleros y la buena voluntad de los militantes y de los simpatizantes del MPLA, el pueblo. Kaposkinski habló conmigo durante unas buenas horas e falando do filho, portanto, é o paradoxo da vida, né? Acabou por ser assassinado pela UNITA. Mataram-me simplesmente porque eu sou o general Farrusco. E eles conheciam quem era o general Farrusco. Foi a vingança. Muitos pais ficaram sem os seus filhos. Eu não fui o único. And more. Come on, it's not the fucking weekend. Move it, lad. Faster. And jumping jacks. Another day of life, Polish. Hey! Did I tell you to stop? Move it. Squats now. Come on, look alive. They moved. South Africans? They were spotted this morning. They're crossing the border right now. Then Luanda needs to know. That's what you're gonna do. Okay, but how? You will go with Carlos. They're slow. They've got tanks, armored carriers, heavy artillery, columns of heavy stuff. You go there now when we have at least a couple of days' advantage. Okay. I tell them I need reinforcements. Ammunition, mortars, you hear me? Yeah. Carlos, how much time do you need? Uh, two hours. Make it one. Have a look. Lubango is here. It's 400 kilometers, plus 350, and should reach Bengala by this time tomorrow. Then you'll have... Silence. Silence! Ah, oh, this is way too fucking soon! You go now! Go! Take positions! Behind the wall! To the roof! Come on, boys! It's not the fucking weekend! Go! We have gas? We have enough gas? Come on, Carlos! Come on! Já me resta um pouco de minuto, vamos a, a, a falar no com o tempo foi esse aí. Já estou morto. Tão grande 
llora de sangre. Yo sí se lo oía, pero no veía. Y a mi consciente siempre decía, cuidado, calma, no tengas problemas, todo va a pasar bien. Había una segunda voz dentro de mí que me daba alguna vida. Ya cuando llegaron los africanos, ahí me quedé preso, dentro del hospital. Dentro del hospital. De un combate desigual. A artillería sul-africana, los blindados sul-africanos, las metralhas de los helicópteros. Y mesmo así, ainda resistieron cuatro horas a combater. Hasta morrer, quase todos que estaban lá. Fue masacre, fue masacre. Eso, eso, fue, eso fue masacre. Capos que que él se iba a para ir lá ver lo que se pasaba. Para decir al mundo que allí estaban las fuerzas sul-africanas a invadir el territorio angolano. Y el mundo negaba esto. Yo pienso que esta fue la misión de él. La misión que él llevó a mí no sul de Angola. A green soldier fears everything. He shoots anywhere, just so long as he can shoot. He has an important battle to win. The war with his own fear. He is killing his own terror. <laughs> Ricardo! Ricardo, my friend! Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend! <sighs> so good to see you! You look like shit! <laughs> and I feel like shit. <laughs> What's been happening? South Africa's been happening. What? Here? The South. Foi uma conversa um bocado angustiante, porque naquele, naquele dia eu sabia que nós íamos perder. Nós estávamos a viver os últimos dias da nossa vida. Porque em breve eles iam entrar. Apenas lhe disse que é para eles irem embora. Nem ele disse, não, eu fico convosco porque eu não aceito ceder o meu lugar por haver um exército a invadir-nos. É esta a minha missão. Eu... Vou ficar convosco e dando, mandarei a minha última notícia. Foi isso que ele disse. I need to see Nelson. No. Things have changed. You need to see the Cubans. Listen, the Southern Front no longer exists. The South Africans are here. They took Pereira de Acer yesterday morning. I was there with Verusco. It's not just soldiers, it's a regular army. Two battalions, tanks, armored carriers, artillery. They have American support. So what are you going to do now? Are you telling Russia? Russia won't support Cuba. So Cuba will go it alone? Thank you, Ricardo. We are not here. You understand? A CIA, sim, a CIA. A CIA é que organizou tudo. A CIA contra Angola. As tropas sul-africanas invadiram todo o sul de Angola, o Planalto Central. Tomaram Benguela, Lubito, passaram à frente. Nós estávamos sitiados em Luanda. Né? 
o Ricardo sempre me disse, isto é o racismo levado a toda a África. Se estes tipos conseguem ganhar, nós vamos ter o apartheid em toda a África. Ele teve essa noção. O MPLA estava sozinho, as forças do MPLA estavam sozinhas. Os soviéticos abandonaram. O camarada presidente teve que pedir apoio ao clube. E o camarada Fidel não, não esteve à espera das ordens do Kremlin. This is Cold War, Artur. Forget about decolonization and independence. This now is Cold War. And Cold War never ends. And I will have played my part. Ricardo, all you did was tell the Cubans what you saw. Is that your agency? Why are you going to report? Artur, we are the only journalist in the world with this information. Cuba getting involved like this, I, I have to give them something. E nós tivemos a noção de que se não ganhássemos a batalha da informação, íamos ser todos destruídos. O MPLA jamais conseguiria tomar o poder. Ricardo, se você faz Cuba public, Yes, I know. It will change the course of events. Change it. The CIA will intercept your telex. And then America will want to do a whole lot more than just back South Africa. They will erase Angola from the map. This is not about Cold War, Ricardo. This is about lives. That's the future of Angola, my friend. Eu, ao saber que era de facto uma operação em grande escala, ficou, digamos, na dúvida se havia de fazer o despacho ou não havia de fazer o despacho. Nós éramos repórteres e dávamos a vida pela nossa profissão. Cuba mobilizing against South Africa is big. And I am a reporter. I have a scoop here. We reporters, we wait our whole lives for an opportunity like this. Tell me, what draws a man out into the world? Curiosity? Hunger for experience? The man who ceases to be astonished is hollow, possessed of an extinguished heart. Excuse me, Professor, I've got a question for you. Yes? Just by being there, you change everything, wouldn't you agree? Uh, change what? Fate. The fate of an individual, of a war, of an entire people. But if I wasn't there, the world wouldn't learn. But if you weren't there, the war would be different. Exchanges of fire might be shorter. People might not die. People die in war. It's important the world reads about it. You haven't answered my question. Ricardo, sem dúvida, que se tornou um, tornou um combatente da nossa causa, à sua maneira. Sem dúvida.
e fomos ao aeroporto, os dois, eu e o, e o Cabo Chinsky. Eu, quando vi aqueles cubanos e aquele armamento a chegar, eu acreditei que nós podíamos ainda ter uma hipótese de ganhar. They're calling it Operação Carlota, the Cuban offensive. Half of the Cubans are descendants of Angolan slaves. But you know the story of Carlota, the Cuban slave girl. She picked up a machete to lead a slave uprising in the 19th century. She died fighting for liberation, Ricardo. Operation Carlota! Maybe one day I will read about myself, huh? Yes, one day you will. Surrender now. Resistance is futile. Thank you, Ricardo. We are not here. special kind of oppressiveness we feel now. A vice tightening. A growing sense of danger and fear. Because this is a lesson drawn from history. That blood will flow. Crucial events cannot occur without it. In Angola, they have a word for this, remember? Confusão. A state of anarchy and disorder. Absolute disorientation. We see it raging around us, but we can't do anything to stop it. It can explode in a crowd, sweep through a mass of people, and then there is fighting and arson and death. It can rain over an entire territory, sweep through millions, and then... There is war. military forces continues actions such as Angola, we will, without any question, resist. Porque lo tenían todo planeado para apoderarse de Angola antes del 11 de noviembre. Nosotros no buscamos petróleo, diamantes, ningún interés material. Estamos cumpliendo un elemental deber internacionalista cuando ayudamos al pueblo de Angola. Esta África que estava a nascer na Angola era a África sem neocomunismo, era a África de uma libertação verdadeira, completa. Né? E eu e o, o Capuchinsky ainda fomos beber um bronzinho, carta blanca, a comemorar, né? uma comemoraçãozinha. Abraçamos e ficamos muito contentes. A vitória! The war has changed. It's no longer a civil war. It's now an international conflict, and it will last for years. My money ran out a long time ago. I'm on my last legs. I'm barely alive. I ask you for permission to return home. Good times are ahead, my friend. I sincerely hope so, Arthur. What's the matter, Ricardo? Come on, my friend. I know that face. What's the matter? I had these students asking me about journalism. When we arrive, we change things. We do. We do change things. And you did, Ricardo. You helped us. You helped Angola. Yeah, yeah, but... Ah, I know, my friend. I know. Confusão. 
Thank you for everything. Boa sorte, camarada. It is powerful, this Confusão. It steals into our hearts. You cannot beat it. You can only get through it and emerge exhausted, satisfied that you managed to survive, but gathering strength for when it comes again, which it will. It always will. But even then, it has something we can grab hold of to avoid being sucked in. And that's how you get through it. Save something, a memory, a thought, a reflection. I return in my thoughts to those I met then. What has become of them? What happened to Artur? What about the strong, courageous Varusco? As guerras contra os sudafricanos, nós perdemos muito melhor dos nossos filhos. Mas com justiça nós tínhamos que fazer isso, tínhamos que estar lá. Não podíamos deixar de matar só, sem também nos defendermos. Valeu a pena. Sou uma pessoa realizada. Também coloquei mais uma pedra nos alicerces desta nação que se chama Angola. Aquela batalha de levarmos o país à independência, nós ganhamos. Mas, pelo caminho, ficaram arrasados todos os meus ideais. Eu sou o grande perdedor. Onde é que está a sociedade igualitária? Onde é que estão os meus irmãos sem fome? Onde é que está o socialismo? Onde é que está a revolução? must save something if you can. Because people disappear without a trace. Completely and irretrievably. First from the world and then from our memory. I will write. They will never be forgotten. They will leave a trace. They will remain. I was here. This is how I looked. This is the face I had when I was alive. Look at me for a moment before you turn to something else. <laughs> 